Today I would like to take a look with you at the most pro-ecological film in the history of Polish cinema. It happens to be fortunate that it is a new film, so I can easily refer you to the streaming platforms, for example Netflix, where it can be watched. The production is It Came From The Water, directed by Ksawery Żuławski. To tell you briefly what the film is about, allow me to short quote from a review entitled Dismantling of Attractions by Adriana Prodeus. The protagonists of the film are young people who are graduating from high school in lockdown and taking their mature exam under pandemic conditions. Not only are they pretentious by virtue of their age, but they have been given a random tragedy as a bonus. No wonder they have developed a level of pathos and emphasis that never described before. In their own words, they have lost their best years of partying and fooling around. On top of that, they were locked in the house with their parents. Their pot started boiling so much that the lid fell off and their heads gushed out. So whenever they could, they went wild, breaking all the prohibitions and trying to grasp anything from the sweetness of youth. After all, we already live in a post-apocalyptic world anyway. Let's have fun, there is nothing to lose. Xavera Żuławski, the director of this film, offers the audience an absolutely crazy and exaggerated vision of reality. The characters you will see in the film are drawn with a rather thick line, but their interesting choice of young and, we should add, very talented actors makes the whole thing intriguing and extremely light-hearted. Your attention will probably be drawn to Mikołaj Kubacki, who you may not yet know from the big Polish hits, but hopefully It Came From The Water will be a stepping stone for him to further his career. You will also not fail to notice Sebastian Fabiański playing a nature loving hermit in the film, whose name can be found in the Polish media not only in film contexts, but also in occasional bizarre scandals and excesses involving this actor. However, if you will still want to see him on the screen, there are quite a few titles worth checking out, including the history of Kashubia and Kashubian called The Butler, the war drama Legions, the crazy bird talk, and the football story Stars. Also worth watching is the second season of Netflix crime series Ultraviolet, in which Fabianski plays one of the main roles. However, to the point. The big party organized by the film protagonists quickly turns into a bloody slaughter as poisonous blue-green algae appear in the Baltic Sea. It is worth stopping here for a moment to answer the question of what exactly are these blue-green algae, which, after all, play one of the main roles in the film. Well, they are self-living organisms originally classified as plants and today belonging to the kingdom of bacteria. Some of them contain toxins that are dangerous when they appear in water bodies. Blue-green algae blooms are influenced by three factors. High temperature, gentle water movement and access to nitrates and phosphates, pollutants that accelerate the proliferation process. The toxins produced by these organisms can lead to poisoning. Importantly, it is not just about physical contact, but also air contact. When we breathe in the air above a bathing area where a blue-green algae bloom has occurred, we can become seriously poisoned. I am not telling you this for no reason. It is worth knowing that in recent years we have had to deal with the closure of bathing sites in the Baltic Sea basically every year precisely because of blue-green algae. This is primarily due to the rising of temperature each year and the increasing amount of pollution being poured in the rivers that flow into the marine water bodies. Anyway, these are no ordinary blue-green algae in the film. In fact, they start spreading a virus that turns people into bloodthirsty zombies. As Stanisław Brysz writes in the magazine Noise, the ecological apocalypse caused by pollution released into the river is coming in full force. It is worth mentioning that it came from the water has since showing a party taking place at the seaside estate. The youth in Żuławski's film 
party as there is no tomorrow. And at times the viewer feels as if they are watching a well-edited music video. The film is memorable and thought-provoking. The pandemic climatic theme speaks out very directly here. There is no point in looking for deep metaphors in It Came From The Water. It is entertaining cinema that plays with conventions, showing that even the things we can fear can be wrapped about to the rhythm of good pop music. I have to tell you that the scene illustrated by one of my favorite songs, Na Szczycie, sung by the Polish rapper Grupson, it is my favorite scene in the film. There is much more to mention. Director Xavery Żuławski himself it is an interesting character, and if we include one of the legends of Polish cinema, his father, Andrzej Żuławski, it really would make a whole story. So let us leave it for another time. And today, I will not keep you longer, but instead I will send you to watch It Came From The Water, the first Polish zombie apocalyptic film. See you in the next episode.